What is going on fam? On our way to go do some more work on the tractor and also split some wood today. Just a lot of farm vlog stuff. So if you're not into farm vlog stuff, leave. But if you are, stay tuned because I don't know about you, but I'm going to have a lot of fun. So we're going to get on over there. I got the 7.3. As you can probably tell by a little bit of a bounce in the camera in the 7.3 per up front. But we've got the 20 foot car hauler behind us too because at the moment my lawn care trailer is loaded down with a piece of a frame and axle for Reagan's truck. So it looks really funny right now. But I'm hauling a zero turn on the 20 foot car hauler. So whatever. Back at the new food plot location and the goal today is going to be getting this cut up this cut up all that get it actually split into firewood as well i don't have the log splitter with me right now but i have the tiller on because i'm going to be doing a little bit more tilling before we get the splitter out here and what we're actually going to be doing is tilling this plot over again Last time we tilled it was, I wanna say two days ago. So it had all day yesterday out here in the sun to really dry out pretty good. Now this plot, I had some people asking, does it get enough sunlight? And it really does. Like in all honesty, it's already getting hit with sunlight and it's only like 9.15 this morning. And between, I wanna say 11 a.m. and 7 p.m., this is almost completely in the sunlight and then it's out of the sunlight again for the last like two hours of the day. But overall, I mean, it gets plenty of sunlight for like turnips and radishes and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, but it dried out decently. I mean, not like crazy amount, but uh, it definitely dried out some. It's still got some moisture though. Like it's holding some moisture, but it's not, uh, it's not mud. You know what I'm saying? Which is good. So I'm going to walk through this and I tilt it over and once you till it, of course, it's going to reveal some more roots that were hidden down in there so i'm gonna walk through the plot here pull out any of the extra roots that are just kind of like in the way now that i don't want to get tangled up in the tines on the rototiller but other than that i mean it's going to be ready to get tilled up again that way we can really get this dirt more fine and i'm super excited about this location i mean it's going to be super super awesome we're gonna like i said we're gonna try to cut up everything around the edges that's just kind of in the way that could be prohibiting movement through the plot some of the stuff i want to keep and i placed it on purpose like some of the stuff over here i kind of want the deer to not be prone to want to exit the plot that way because our stand location is going to be more on this back corner and i don't want the deer to feel like it's super easy to just circle me and wind me because this is going to be a south wind location so the wind's going to be coming out of this direction and it'll be blowing our scent over to the addition that's behind here and uh hopefully as long as we hunt it on the right wind, we don't have the deer like catching wind of us and screwing it all up. So it'll be fun. And I've also got a trophy mineral rock I want to throw on this stump right here. But that's going to be the plan. And I know there's some people that don't necessarily care for the outdoor stuff as much. I get that. You know, it's not for everybody, but I really do enjoy filming it probably more than anything. You can see since we were here last, there's, there's some deer tracks already through here. I've actually got a tree stand over in this corner too. I might actually leave it there because it's actually in a decent spot and I'm not sure if I'll necessarily hunt that stand as much. Depending on the wind, it might be a better spot to hunt. It just kind of depends on what the deer end up doing, how they enter the plot, how they maneuver it. Maybe they won't hardly use it except in the dark and then they're gonna keep circling it, I don't know. But we're not gonna know until we get this all set up the way we want it and hopefully it works in our favor and the deer do end up actually feeding in here a decent amount. First load cut up. I'm gonna haul this out though because the tractor is out of fuel. <laughs> and I've got just enough probably to get back to the barn. Then we're gonna fill it up, get back out here. We're gonna keep on cutting away at all this. Here's what we're gonna be trying to do. Old, K what is it, a case 550? 550 LT. 550 LT. Now this was parked two years ago or a little more. I'm guessing roughly November of 2018. Okay, so a little over two years, and uh, or almost two years. It's been neglected. It's been sitting here, so 
It hasn't been ran. As you can see, all the oxidation starting on it and all the rust starting. That's just from sitting, like rainwater and stuff. But um, other than that, I mean, it was a, it wasn't a cheap dozer. <laughs> I mean, it always ran and worked great. We just kind of stopped dozing things over after the first like year. <laughs> You're like, well. That was fun. So we're gonna see how this thing fires up or if it fires up, it should. It never had an issue really running other than when he had parked it. Didn't you try to pull something out with it or? Uh, I was gonna, there was a cement truck that after raining for like a month straight, <laughs> it tried to pull in here to put cement behind the barn here. It did okay until it hit this little, it was trenched to put the water line in the barn. Yeah. Uh, it was still soft and as soon as he hit that, it was already muddy and soft and then it just went and sunk down. So then we were gonna pull it out, but then it stalled. And then it stalled and then the guy that was supposed to come out and fix it, he's like, oh, it was just a loose connection somewhere. He's like, it's good. Starting fluid, it's got a picture of a spark plug. So that's what we have here is a dozer, diesel dozer with spark plugs. Nothing. Nothing. So you said it reads that it's charged pretty good. For whatever reason, my camera shut off and said, the card was full, but it's definitely not full. It's this thing right here. Somebody Jimmy rigged. No offense against Jimmy's. Yeah, if you're a Jimmy, we're not we're not saying you're a bad guy. No, what it means is you're the best guy because you fix stuff. Yeah, just but in you an can see like way. <laughs> if you just touch this thing here. At least we know what it is. Now the question is how will it roll because it hasn't been moved in a long time and I don't know how those tracks like get jammed up or you know stuck or however that works after sitting for so long. But I'm guessing it should be fine but we'll find out. Back at the section where I cut out a load of wood just a little bit ago now I'm going to work on cutting up a lot more of this stuff. We've got the log splitter back here now. We've got the pallet to haul the split wood out. So I'm gonna take the saw. I got one of the bigger saws out here, so I'm gonna take the saw, cut up a bunch of this, and then I'll get on time lapse once I start cutting it with a wood splitter so you guys can see that in time lapse, because I think it'll be kind of cool. So I just started splitting this wood, and Dad showed up, and uh, he's gonna try to bulldoze over this honey locust tree that's it's dead he doesn't need to bulldoze it over but he's like yeah i'll get it out of the corner of the plot just because i mean it's kind of kind of a nuisance you can see all the sunlight on this plot though it just kind of goes in stages of what's open with sunlight and what's not he hasn't been on this bulldozer in like two and a half years so he's pretty like a kid in candy store. He's trying to clear everything out so he can get to this dead tree right here. Because it's kind of leaning away like that, so he just wants to kind of take the roots and try to keep it going that way, you know. I don't know how uh how great of an idea it'll be given that the tree's pretty dead, but whatever. He wants to do it. <laughs> oh, I love bulldozers. <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy with a bulldozer. I mean, that tree, it was dead, so the roots were pretty well shot, but those, that thing can just whack trees over. It's so funny. That's the scary thing, is once he gets on that thing, he starts pushing trees, they just start falling. It's just, it becomes a little too fun. got it all cut everything that was cut up that I had uh, ready to go at least but I got to head out of town here so I'm gonna get this all loaded up on the forks then I'll show you what it looks like once it's loaded up and then we got to get her on our way out of here now the question is 
Will the tractor lift it? <laughs> I would imagine it can, but it'll be, it'll be a little bit of a struggle. It's only a 32 horse tractor. Oh yeah, that's heavy. That is really heavy for this tractor. I mean, it's a bunch of hardwood. I mean, it's, it's freaking heavy stuff. It's all red oak. So we're gonna try to get the tractor spun around here safely and then uh, get the splitter hooked up. Get this out of here and hold back to the barn. I'm gonna put a wrap to this video, but one last thing. The giveaway for this truck, this 1997 F350 with the 7.3 power stroke is now up for grabs. And only until August 8th, every $1, $1 is one entry, and that ends on August 8th. The giveaway itself ends in about four weeks. And I'd also like to note the fact that we are now shipping everything ourselves, so your orders are gonna get out so much faster than they used to. The reason they took so long before is they're not in our hands in the fulfillment center we use. Has to fulfill stuff for lots of different people. So it's not just like only our orders. They have to make the product, then ship the product, and all this other stuff, and we are cutting the middleman out. They were a great company, very, very good to work with, very good pricing on stuff, but I'd rather do it ourselves so we can give you guys the best service possible for exchanges, returns, customer service, all that stuff is gonna be so much better than it was for the last couple months. So thank you guys so much for all the participation, all the previous giveaways. The store is gonna look a lot different. There's a lot less stuff, but the stuff that you do buy is now stuff that we have in stock ready to ship. So your stuff's just gonna ship a lot faster. So we simplified the store. We took some of the best selling products to start out with and we're gonna stock those and ship those. But stuff can sell out now versus before it couldn't. It is a little bit of a trade off. There's there's not as many different options and colors and different design t-shirts and stuff yet, but the stuff that you do see, we have in stock right now, ready to ship. But when it sells out, it'll sell out. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We love you guys. Link in the description, lmpgear.com. And again, every $1, one entry to win that truck. We're gonna customize it in terms of the interior and a few other things, so stay tuned, keep your comments coming. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.